What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 starter squad video. Today I'm going to be rating your guys' starter squads. As you can see on the screen, uh, I said, you, or I asked, not said, using footbin, foothead or footwiz, foot whiz, build me your cheap 50k expected price or less starter team for FIFA 21. And we've got five at random that I've picked here that we're going to have a look at. I haven't seen them yet. And uh, just see what, what we've got going on and what people think might be 50k or less if there's any red herrings in here. Of course, if you guys want to get involved, follow me on twitter.com slash nepenthes or instagram.com slash nepenthes. And of course, if you're enjoying the content, drop a thumbs up. Let's try and smash 5,000 likes. And of course, hit that bell to get notified. And in the comment section below, guys, let me know from these five which you find to be the best. Going one, two, three, four, and five. First of all, we've got Nath Hart. Uh, he's sent in a FootWiz squad link. Um, and let's have a look what he's got going on. So he's got a Brazilian squad there. Uh, we can have a look at some of the in-game stats of some of these players. Um, but first of all, I just want to have a look at a general look at the squad. And uh, I quite like it. Uh, Everton, this this guy seems to be good. Again, I don't know if these skill moves and weak foot are necessarily correct. I don't know if EA have updated them yet. If they are, we've got four-star skill moves on all three of the attackers. Um, Paulinho, four-star, four-star. Wendell, three-star, three-star. And Renato Augusto, four-star, four-star. And just looking at the general uh, state of this team... Let's zoom in a bit more for you guys right there. What on earth is here? Oh, some uh, some FIFA in the bottom right there. Um, yeah, looking at the general state of this team, I mean, is this going to be less than 50k? I, I personally would say say not. I think straight off the bat, Ed Militao is going to be largely expensive. 20, 30, maybe 40k himself. I also think Paulinho is going to be very expensive um, because... Can I not click on him to like bring his card up? There we go. Um, because he's very good. Four-star, four-star with really well-rounded stats, very good dribbling, very good shooting, good defending, good physicals, obviously the four-star, four-star. And even though he's from the Chinese league, being Brazilian, he is super easy to link. So I don't think he and Ed Militao will necessarily be uh, too cheap. Can I get rid of these uh, these ads? No, Jesus, Jesus, foot whiz. Come on now. Um, uh, I like Gabriel Paulista. I think he's got great potential in the game. Really good defending and physical and decent pace. Uh, Ismaili, much like last year, I think is also going to be quite expensive. One of the better Brazilian left backs that's affordable. Bruno Perez, uh, a good option at right back. Wendell, really nice, well-rounded. Uh, Renato Augusto as well, really nice, well-rounded. I really like this attack. I think Rafinha with that good pace, four-star skill moves, good dribbling. Uh, Texiera, who was obviously brilliant last year. Uh, great pace, very well-rounded dribbling. 87 stamina, which will be massive in the early stages of FIFA. Um, along with uh, good-ish shooting stats. He's a good option. And then this Everton card is being touted as, as a real possibility of being a super, super player. Good pace, nice positioning, real nice dribbling, 75 stamina, four-star skill moves. I like it a lot. Do I think this is going to be 50k budget as far as the team goes? No. Everton, I think, will probably be fairly cheap. Rafinha, Rafinha Wendell, I think they'll be fairly cheap. I don't think a lot of these players are going to be too cheap at all. Um, I think when we look at uh, left-backs that are Brazilian, um, let's go to the FIFA 21 players. Let's go for left-backs and let's go for Brazil. There aren't many. Uh, in fact, so far in the top 1,000, there are five. Um, so Ismaili is there for sure. But obviously, Sandro, Tellez and Marcelo are going to be super expensive because they're rating in the club and whatnot. Uh, Renan Lodi as well from the the league that he's in. Uh, the fact he's got four star skill moves again, I don't necessarily know if that's true or not. And then as you know, a, as good a card as Ismaili, Ismaili is the last option that's left. I personally don't think he's going to be super cheap. I think this squad, mostly because of Ed Emilatao, Ismaili and Paulinho, is going to be really expensive. But even last year, um, Alex Texiera, uh, even as a lower rated player was still fairly expensive from the off uh, i remember him being one of the popular expensive players let's see if we can find him here where is he he's here so 79 rated and again decent stats and if we go back and look at his price chart um from the history oh maybe not he peaked up at like 4k there no he was coming in at like 2700 coins 3000 coins that's not bad actually um, so, yeah, maybe the attack will actually be the most affordable here. Um, but uh, I think, yeah, Paulinho, Ismaili, Ed Emilatao, I think they're going to be crazy expensive. I, I would say this is more closer to a 100k team. Um, but 
it does look like a really good interesting squad a little bit outside of the budget but i'll give that like a seven out of ten i like the skill moves i love the fact that as a starter squad this is really really balanced very very well uh and yeah i'll, I'll give that a, a nice seven out of ten i quite like that a lot next up guys we have got luke luke has sent us a foot bin squad list uh which is a uh, nice Ooh. i mean i do like the look of this straight away but again, I think we've got some players here that are going to be crazy expensive um, because there aren't many better options. I think Kieran Tierney is going to be very expensive and I think Richarlison is going to be very expensive as well. Um, I also think Fred is going to be very expensive. We obviously have looked at all three of those players in yesterday's video. Richarlison with four-star, five-star. Fred with four-star, four-star uh, are two brilliant cards. McTominay is a very interesting one. Do I think he's a, a good... He's not bad, actually. His pace is not all that. His physicals and defending is quite nice. And he's got decent short passing. Good shooting from range as well. McTominay's not a bad one. He might be one of those ones that gets overlooked. He will be very cheap, I would assume. Pulisic is another interesting one. I don't know quite how cheap he's going to be. With that good pace and good dribbling, with the four-star, four-star, and a lot of hype around him, I think he might be quite expensive. Even as a common card, I think he's going to be in like the 8 to 10K range, personally, especially in the early days. Uh, Yere will be nice and cheap. Uh, David Soria, probably nice and cheap as a Spanish goalkeeper. But in those early stages when they've got those SBCs that require like 80 rated squads with a certain amount of links and nations and stuff, an 82 rated Spanish goalkeeper usually goes for quite a lot. Uh, and then Martinez here, as far as an 80 rated card goes, this is a good card. Really well balanced defending, very nice physicals, good passing, better long passing than short, decent sprint speed. This is a really good option. I like him a lot. Hopefully he's nice and cheap. Um... Traore on the right-hand side. I like this uh, triangle on the right, actually. Rafinha there with four-star skill moves. Good pace, good dribbling. Uh, Burigard there. Again, fairly well-rounded. Defending not quite the best. And in fact, one of the, the things, and I'd say the problems with this midfield is you, there's, it doesn't really excel anywhere. You know, they can all defend like, you know, two defensive style midfielders if you look at Fred and McTominay. But then again, Fred's not really a defender. He's more of a box-to-box. -box. A bit more creative going forwards with the four-star, four-star. A um, couple of three-star, three-stars in the midfield. Will this be 50k or less? I would say if it wasn't for a Charleston, Fred and Tierney, maybe, yes, you might be able to get one of these or maybe two of these in this squad and under 50k. I don't think you'll be able to get all three of them and Pulisic. Uh, so I think, once again, probably a little bit over budget. I like this squad a lot. I think the back line is really strong. That Triori card is really nice, very well balanced. The centre-backs and the goalkeeper are brilliant. Uh, the left-hand side is very good. Using the two Scottish guys to link together for the chemistry is very nice. I like this squad a lot. I'll uh, I'll also give it... No, I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10. I think a little bit better than the first squad. Next up, we have got Kieran, 96's team. He's got another foot bin link for us here. And we are looking at here another one with uh, Texiera. Ooh, that Visca card looks interesting. This is, this is a really interesting one. So straight off the bat, I think Kimpembe is going to be crazy expensive. And once again, Ishmaili, I think, is going to be expensive. And Paulinho, I think, is going to be expensive. This is never going to be under 50k. Uh, an 84 address again, this Kimpembe card, you've just got no chance. If we look at Kimpembe last year, I know he's not necessarily from, like, the most desirable league. Um, if we look at him as a FIFA 20 player, isn't it strange that we can't... Oh, if we actually click on generations, can we look at him here? Yeah, there we go. I know he was 82 rated last year as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, he, he was like 15 to 20k at the start last year. And the card, although it's one rating lower, is not actually too dissimilar from the card from last year. The fact that Diallo's there for that perfect link as well, this is this is at least a 100,000 coin team. Now, what I do like about some of these players, though, is Tyson is a really good option um, as, as far as a player goes. You know, four-star skill moves, really nice pace and dribbling, and actually quite well-rounded uh, shooting. That's not a bad card at all. I like him a lot. And I like the strong, well, perfect link that he's got with Ishmaili, who I always think is going to be quite expensive. We then got Junior Kekara there. I don't think he'll be too expensive because he's not that desirable, but I do like the fact that he gives that strong link to Visca, and I do like Visca a lot. As an 83 rated, because of his nation and his league, unless people want to force themselves into getting that Brazilian right back, he's going to be fairly cheap. Good pace, nice dribbling, fairly well-rounded shooting, fairly decent passing with a good short passing, a 90 stamina in there, four-star, four-star for the man as well. That is a very good option. Let's have a look at Visca's card from last year. Fairly similar, of course, and how well that did for price. Wait, this is the FIFA 21 one again, isn't it? Um, yeah, 84 rated last year, obviously, which makes a bit of a difference. A bit better dribbling uh, compared to last year as well. And he was... 
he was starting in the one to two Ks. So that's really nice. He he absolutely could be a very strong uh, strong player there. I think this is going to be really overpriced compared to 50k. But as far as the team goes, I like it a lot. I like the Adair and uh, Texiera combination. Adair's very good. Needs a bit of boost of shooting, but his stamina's nice. His dribbling's nice. His pace is nice. He's got four-star, four-star. I like him a lot. I think he might be a really good early striker to use. Um, the links to all the other players. I like the team. The team, for me, this is definitely the best one we've seen. Probably closer to an 8.5 out of 10. You know, Driss Aguirre as a CDM is brilliant. Paulinho as a box-to-box -box is fantastic. Tyson and Visca for the wings are brilliant. Texiera and Eder up front, ph phenomenal. The back line is really well balanced, really strong. I just think Paulinho, Gay and Kimpembe are going to be so expensive that this is going to be nowhere near 50k. I hope I'm wrong. I'd love to be able to pick a team up like this for 50k, uh, but I like this team a lot. And I'll give that an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we've got uh, Narang. Uh, where did he... Did he, link? he did link me a team. I wonder if he deleted it. Maybe, maybe he hated his team after he sent it to me. Oh, here we go. A couple of 30k offbeat starter teams. That was the one that I wanted to look at. So, because the word offbeat. So, again, Paulinho in there. And this is why I know Paulinho is going to be super expensive, guys. He's been in almost all of the teams we've looked at so far. Visca and uh, Junior there again is nice. Akanji is good. Piszczek is good. Coming in as a centre-back. Piszczek is going to be a really good centre-back. Pavlenka in there too. Not so sure Grimaldo is going to be too cheap as an 84 rated and Rafa as well. Let's have a look at Rafa last year. I know, like thinking back actually, last year a lot of the off league um, high rated cards were super, super cheap. So Rafa last year, yeah, I mean, he wasn't high rated, but he was a couple of thousand coins at most. So a brilliant addition there. Rafa's very nice. Um, I like him in the team. Grimaldo, he might have been just a few thousand coins last year. Wasn't he only an 83 last year? Yeah, he was. So he's been upgraded by one, which will make some difference to the to the card. But even him, look at that, 5K, 6K. It's not bad. You know, it's not bad. And and it is because there was not many SBCs. You didn't need the 84s, the 85s. Their prices weren't up at the 8 or 10Ks yet at this stage in the game. Um, so I like the Grimaldo Rafa link. Pizzczek, Akanji, and Delane. I think Delane is going to be expensive because he is going to be a very highly used player in Bundesliga squads. He's got a ridiculously well-rounded card for an 81 rated. Um, Bikambu, very nice. Like him a lot. Taliska, very, very nice. I think this card has got great potential. Four star, four star, really nice in game stats. And uh, obviously, very, very tall. So, if there is a new heading meta, uh, because they've changed heading, of course, he'll be very good for that. This is definitely the best team we've seen. It's also, I think, might be the closest to budget. Um, I think Visca is, I don't think Visca is going to be too expensive. I don't think Grimaldo and Rafa are going to be too expensive, even though high rated, just because in the early stages, people are trying to sell everything to accumulate coins for those big players. So I like that a lot. I think the most expensive players in this team are going to be Delaney and Paulinho. Delaney obviously has a lot of hype around him. He is very good. Brilliant defending, very nice physicals, good pace, and generally well-rounded everywhere else with a four-star weak foot. He is going to be in everybody's Bundesliga squad. He's going to be super popular. And as you can see already, by the amount of random teams that I've picked with Paulinho coming in here, this card is way, way too good to not be picked up by everybody that can shoehorn him into any team. His physicals are brilliant. His defending, very good. Dribbling, very good. Shooting, incredible. Short passing and vision, very nice. Four-star, four-star. He's just going to be used so often. This is definitely the best team we've seen. I'll give this a 9 out of 10, this team. For a starter team, for a potential 50k budget as well. As I say, depending on how much Paulinho Delaney come in at, I think that you probably could snag this team for 50k or less. Um, at least around the 50k mark. I think this is the best team we've seen so far. And then last but not least, we've got Danny and he has linked us this squad right here. And his squad is another Brazilian theme squad. Um, Everton again, Rafinha again. Wendell, I like that. What's his skill moves in week for? Three star, three star. Fernando, he used to be in everybody's go-to team like years ago, didn't he? He had a, he had a card like, what? We're talking about six or seven years ago now. Yeah, we took like FIFA 14 and FIFA 15. He had he had a card that was real good for those starter squads. Got a couple of uh, team of the seasons in there as well. And here he is yet again. Decently well-rounded, really nice passing, really nice physical and good pace. I don't mind that card at all, and he will be cheap. Um, Taliska again. T Taliska's a weird one. Could potentially be really expensive because of the perfect link to um, Paulinho and because of the fact he's good four-star, four-star and Brazilian. There seems to be a lot of good Brazilians. Um, but also he could be cheap. And Richarlison, I think, is just going to be super, super expensive because he's one of the only go-to strikers that's low-rated. And because he's going to be cheap, 
it's going to boost his price up because there's not that many players to pick from in the Premier League. This is a team that I think is definitely going to be closest to budget. Miranda, I like. Nice and tall. Okay pace. Decent defending and physical. Nice dribbling on Miranda as well. Sydney as well is there. Decent pace. I think for the start of the game, 69 to 70, 71 pace is, is where you should be looking at for your centre-backs for the cheap, good centre-backs. Good physicals. Okay defending. Emerson, decent. Nice and well-rounded. Ishmaili as well. Nice and well-rounded. Good dribbling. Um, the midfield lacks a bit of a out and out CDM. You know, Wendell's okay defensively, Fernando's okay defensively, uh, and the the pair of them as well. They're not really like they don't really excel anywhere, and their stats are on the low end of being well rounded. Talisca's very nice. Everton, Richarlison, Rafinha is very nice for me. This is I'd, I'd say this this would I definitely think you'd get this for fifty k. No question about it. For me, this would be. Not quite as good as a fourth team. Um, I'd say probably like an eight and a half out for this team. Definitely under budget. I think the fourth team was very, very good. Had great possibilities of being around the 50k mark and had the best balanced team. And uh, that's where we're at. So five starter teams that you guys built, guys, around the 50k budget. We're going to be back tomorrow with either some Bundesliga starter squads or potentially like 100k to 150k potential starter squads and start ramping up what people might be looking at after building their first coin bank up. This is going to be the end of the video, though, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.